Hi everybody, I'm Dina Proctor, creator of 3x3 Meditation and author of Madly Chasing Peace. Today's topic I want to talk about is letting go of fear. There are so many things in our lives that we have um, reasons to be fearful about or preconceived notions that there's something to be fearful about or maybe there's memories that we have from when we were younger or maybe memories from not all that long ago that instigate this feeling of fear inside of us where we just feel like we're paralyzed, we can't make a decision, we can't move forward or we can't focus in a way that's going to allow us to have a breakthrough. So talking about releasing fear, letting go of fear so that we can find healing, find peace and be able to kind of move forward um, in our lives. So a really important concept and something that really switches it for me is that when I'm feeling a negative emotion, an emotion that I don't want to feel necessarily, or I am I know that I'm drawing something in my life that I really don't want to draw into my life anymore. I inst It used to be that I would go into it thinking, I've got to release this, I've got to let go of this, and I would kind of go into meditation and you know, get into more of an action state of how do I let go of this? What process should I do? What, how should I think? And how should I point my mind? And how should I feel in order to be able to let go of this? But what really, really helped, and it's kind of the opposite of what I used to do, that is so amazingly effective, is instead of thinking, I want to let go of this fear, or I want to let go of this block, or I want to let go of this extra weight or whatever it is, I want to let go of this. Instead of thinking of it that way, think of it this way. I am allowing this fear to let go of me. I'm allowing this fill in the blank to let go of me. I'm allowing this anger to let go of me. Because the reason that this is effective, and I'm going to give you an analogy that I think of, is um, think about all the thoughts in your mind as being all the negative thoughts being weeds in a garden and then the positive thoughts being roses and flowers and things that you want to be in your garden. So all of these negative thoughts that are in there, it, it, it used to be that I would think, I gotta go in there and pick out those negative thoughts and pick out of those weeds and let go of them and get rid of them and kind of clear out the garden and get the roots and dig them out. But that is so action oriented. It is so um, constricting because it feels like I have to, and there's this motivation to it, and this willpower to it, and this efforting to it, right? But if I picture this instead, and I just imagine that instead of picking and getting rid of these weeds, that I am allowing the dirt that is holding the roots to loosen off, right? So I'm, I'm instead of going in there and picking out the roots and picking out the weeds, I am releasing my grip. That dirt is releasing its grip on the roots because if there's nothing gripping and keeping the roots there, when the next big wind comes, they're just going to pick up and be blown away, you know? So it's like you're letting the universe or letting that God source or letting ultimate wisdom and intelligence kind of take care of that. The wind can blow those away. What we need to do is just stop gripping onto it so, so tightly and so completely. So letting go of something is less of an action and an effort and more of just trusting that it will be removed, that it will blow away. It's, it's this, it's letting it, it's having it let go of you, having the weed just not being ingrained there anymore. It is removing itself because we are no longer a match to having it in our lives, you know? So a way that you can kind of bring that into meditation is um, imagining, like really bringing that visual in and just you know that the weeds will disappear as your grip on their roots is lessened, right? And so there's not an effort to that. It's actually an, an absence of effort. You're not digging in there and figuring out and trying to get rid of stuff or weeding out the garden. You're just relaxing and trusting that as your vibration raises, as you get more grounded and connected and centered within of your within yourself, there's just going to be nowhere that they're going to even be able to to keep to take root of themselves. They will let go of you. They will disappear themselves. There's no action or effort required on your part. So that was a game changer for me when I started thinking about it differently. Uh, instead of having me doing the effort and the work of letting go of something, enabling it so that it would let go of me, so that it would just disappear itself from my experience. My gosh, just thinking about it right now, it just, it gets me so I don't know, centered and trusting and and grounded just thinking about it that way. So 
if it's helpful for me, I always think, why wouldn't it be helpful for you too? So I hope that that resonates with you. As always, take what you like and gently leave the rest behind. Appreciate you joining me here and stay tuned because I'm sure I'll have more for you again soon. <laughs> take care. Bye-bye for now.